Hello, I'm going to be doing another Blender tutorial and today a lot of people ask me to do a spin ball mash. A lot of people want to know how to do a spin ball so that's what I'm going to do today. It's going to be quick and easy and what we need to do first let me just delete everything in this scene right here and when we need to start off with a UV sphere, UV sphere. shift a UV sphere. Let me add on screen cast keys. But you can see what I'm doing here. You don't need to change none of the settings, just keep it all the same. And go into edit, vo edit mode with tab. And what we need to do is rotate it on the y axis 90 degrees. But we can get a view like this. And when you make this spin ball, this is real easy because what, we, what we're going to do is we're just going to use one section of it, make the spin ball, and just duplicate it around. So basically, we don't really need this. So what we, we want to have the cursor in the center. So put the cursor in the center, shift S, cursor to center, and we need to rotate the, uh, the ball from the center to get the good rotation. So we already did that. If you don't know where it's at, it's to 3D cursor right here. And I'm going to go to face, mash select mode, control tab, face. We're going to select all these and get in here like that. On the other side, select these. And to make everything easier, hit Control I, and this will this will inverse everything that you already selected, like that. And we need to delete all these faces. X, delete all faces. So we only need to work with this, and we're just going to duplicate it around once we have finished it. So we need to go. We need to select uh, some faces, some no, some edges to extrude out to make the the spiky part. So Control Tab Edge. We need to select all these. We don't need these over here. It's box select, middle mouse. So we're deselecting all these over here. Oh, make sure you click that for you can see transparent on the other side. And unselect that. Okay, good. So we're just going to extrude it out. Press E to extrude and extrude it out. You can extrude it out to however distance you want, but you need to have it to a point when you can be able to see the spikes come out. So that should be good enough. We need to select some verts too. So go to Control Tab Vertex Mode. Select these bottom ones and delete it because we don't need it. X delete vertices like that. So this is the part when we actually make the spikes. I'm going to top view, numpad 7, select every other vert from the middle. So what I mean is select the middle vert, select that vert from, so it's every other one. Like that. And we want to grab them and bring them out. You can see we're trying to build the spikiness part and grab every other one that we didn't select and we're just gonna we're just gonna grab them and pull them in. And pull them in. I'm going to this side because I want to bring them down because I like that. You see what we got there? That's this we're gonna extrude this all the way around. So now we need to we're in edit mode, so select all the verts, everything. And only thing we're going to do is, is um, duplicate this all the way around 360. So Shift D, R, rotate like that. Select them again. Shift D, R, rotate. Make sure you're doing this from the side view on numpad 3. This should be easier. Select all of them. R, rotate, shift D, R, rotate, 
Shift D R rotate. Looks like we're missing the gap there too. I'm going to select one of these verse and verts and press Control R, and that's selected local. All of them that's connected. Shift D R. Kind of messed up a little bit because I have a little bit more space than needed. So I kind of missed missed the beat. So you see we got the spike in this part down. It's full spike. And we got we got an opening right there, so we need to close it in. I'm selecting all of them that locally. Uh control R and I'm gonna rotate it around a little bit. Remove doubles. I want to move some of these verts and the threshold. Bring it up if I can reach around. That's good. Now we got our spin ball. Now what we need to do, we need to apply a material to it. So right now I'm just going to go into GSL shading. I want to add in the lamp, Shift A, Hemi lamp, bring that out, duplicate that 180 degrees, I'm going to bring in a sun lamp, I just want to show you how you're going to look in GSL shading, and we need, I went into textured mode by pressing Alt Z, new material, we're just going to name it blue, and get a nice blue that you want bring the spec spec specular down a little bit and go to smooth shading then you got that that nice effect going on and we can also bring in a ramp we're going to bring in a ramp shader and these bands and overlap them and diffuse ramp mode to normal select this this ramp and we're just going to change this white to another to like the same blue for it can come together so that looks nice change the if you're going to be using this in the blender game engine you need to change the transparency down a little bit to like 1.5 how how transparent do you want it that's how much you change it. One point uh, six, and that's really basically it for um, for this tutorial. You can bring the emit up a little bit for get emit emit more light, and that's how to create a spiky. Oh, it's one more thing that we need to do. We need to solidify this. So in the modifier section, you need to solidify it to give it thickness for, for both of the back ends of the planes will be visible too. And we need to apply that. So when the game starts, you can see the back faces of, of the spikes too, instead of just the front. Now we're done. Leave a comment below if you didn't understand something, I can help you out. And any other tutorials you would like for me to do?